Are those little girls real? And the daughters that James had died. Are, the, are those? No. It's a f up thing to lie about. Yeah, I would never lie about my son dying. Like that part you should have never said. James is a welder, financially stable. He said he had a home here in Phoenix. He had a home in Chuba City. And he has a home in Zuni, New Mexico. Do you ever talk on the phone? When he called me, he wouldn't talk to me, you know? He would just text me what he's saying, and then I would talk to him. Wait, so you been on the phone with him, but you've never heard his voice? Yeah. Why? I don't know. And then out of nowhere, he just started being distant with me. That's when I woke up to a text from his sister saying he died. Who is the sister? Her name is Maya. I actually think that's James. So you think James created Maya? Yeah, it's the same number. Oh. You got a text from James's number saying, hey, this is James's sister. Yeah. I cried and I told my mom, is this person gone? Because oh. my mom is a medicine lady. She said, no, he's still he's still living. And then I texted James, I know this is you. I don't know how you can do this to anyone. What? Hi. What's up? I'm Cammie. Maya. Maya? Maya, yeah. Nice to meet you. And this, uh, as you know, is Charlene. Yeah. So, James, is that is a real? real? No. Okay. Is it you? Yeah. It's been you the whole time? Yeah. Okay. Why, why did you do this to me? I mean, um, you basically wasted my time coming out here. I have a little boy. Yeah. So you are Zuni? Uh, half Navajo, half Zuni. Half Navajo, half Zuni. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 18. You're a youngin. I'm way older than you. And, oh my gosh, this is weird. Are those little girls real? And the daughters that James had died. Are, the, are those? No. It's a f up thing to lie about. Yeah, I would never lie about my son dying. Like that part you should have never said. I know. How did you come up with all these lies? You talked about keys, you talked about dying, you talked about a lot of stuff. I cried, I literally cried. When I did that, that was of me trying to let that profile die down. And I tried shutting it down, but I couldn't really let it go and everything because I, ha I would have no one else to talk to. Shirlene tells us that she thought you guys were in a romantic relationship. Is that how it felt for you? Or you thought this was kind of like your boyfriend? Yeah. You guys were sharing I love yous. You right. said I love you well, after yeah, a month. But, you know, like best friends can say that too. They say like, oh, I love you. Well, yous. right, but when a, when a hot guy tells a cute girl I love you, it means something different than when two best buddy girlfriends say I love you. Yeah. So for her, that I love you meant a lot more. Yeah. And you knew that. Yeah. You had to know that. Yeah. If you want to be mad and frustrated with me, oh, that, I, 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 I understand that. I, I just did it because I was missing that love and affection. You know, you were that person that was there to listen to what I had to say. I told you things that I never even told nobody. I never even told my family, my friends, nothing. And when my sister passed away, I was put in foster care. I grew up in part of that too. That was rough, man. Like, they took my little brother away from me. It took a lot of things away from me. I'm really sorry. I really wanted to tell you. <sighs> but I never got that courage to, to tell you. So, I don't know what your feelings are and what you're comfortable talking about, but I'm willing to, to bet that you do have feelings for her. No. When we talked, it, it's like she's really there to listen, and I, that, that, that's what I liked about her, that she can listen, she's caring, she's loving, she's smart. But it was like a friendship. 